friends, Miss Jill here again. I have a very special book called First Day Jitters. And jitters is another word for being nervous or scared. And in this book, she's scared to go to her first day of school. And I thought this would be a great book for us to read together since we've had so many home days with mom and dad. And we might be feeling a little nervous about having to go back to school and see our teachers again. So I thought this would be a great book to read together to make us not feel so scared about having to go back to school. All right, let's get started. First day jitters. Oh, look, I see a kitty cat and an alarm clock and she has the pillow pulled over her head. Sarah, dear. Time to get out of bed, Mr. Hartwell said, poking his head through the bedroom doorway. You don't want to miss your first day at school, do you? I'm not going, said Sarah, and pulled the covers over her head. Of course you're going, honey, said Mr. Hartwell, as he walked over to the window and snapped up the shade. Oh, look, the doggy wants her to get up. The kitty wants her to get up. No, I'm not. I don't want to start over again. I hate my new school, said Sarah, and she tunneled down to the end of her bed. Oh, no. They will think that I am lucky and they will wish that they were at home in bed like me. Mr. Hartwell sighed. Sarah Jane Hartwell, I am not playing this silly game one second longer. I'll see you downstairs in five minutes. Oh, she doesn't want to get out of bed and the kitty's even under the blankets again now. Sarah tumbled out of bed. She stumbled into the bathroom. She fumbled into her clothes. What a mess. She fumbled out of bed. She's fumbling into her, into her clothes. My head hurts, she moaned as she trudged into the kitchen. Mr. Hartwell handed Sarah a piece of toast in her lunchbox. What do you think she has in her lunchbox, friends? That doggy looks like he wants to eat her toast, huh? They walked to the car. Sarah's hands were cold and clammy. They drove down the street, but she couldn't breathe. Oh, she's so nervous and so scared right now. And then they were there. I feel sick, said Sarah. Nonsense, said Mr. Hartwell. You'll love your new school once you get started. Oh, look, there's your principal, Mrs. Burton. Sarah slumped down into her seat. She doesn't want to go into school. All the kids are going into school. I see one kid riding his bike. They all look so happy and so ready to go to class. Oh, Sarah, Mrs. Burton gushed, peeking into the car. There you are. Come on, I'll show you around and where to go. The principal is helping her get out of the car and making her feel welcome. She led Sarah into the building and walked click, quickly through the crowded hallways. Don't worry, everyone is nervous on their first day, she said over her shoulder as Sarah rushed to keep up. Look at all the kids, they're all watching her because she's new. They're all interested and they're very curious to see who she is. When they got to the classroom, most of the children were already in their seats. I see this child, he's trying to take off his sweatshirt. These two kids are talking. She has a big jacket on. The class looked up as Mrs. Burton cleared her throat. Class, class, attention please, said Mrs. Burton. When the class was quiet, she led Sarah to the front of the room and said, class, I would like you to meet. They're all so curious, they're waiting for her. 
Who do you think they're gonna meet? <gasps> Your new teacher, Mrs. Sarah Jane Hartwell. That is so silly. We all thought she was a kid and she was nervous for her first day, but she's a teacher and she's nervous for her first day. Everyone gets nervous sometimes and that's okay. I hope this book was so much fun for you guys and I hope it made you feel a little bit better about your first day back at school. I miss you guys so much and I can't wait to see you. Bye.